Hey, welcome back to Grow Your Meds. This is a special video I'm going to make about uh, electromagnetic radiation, uh, which is basically an electromagnetic field that radiates from uh, electricity that's being either converted or running through any wire, produces a magnetic field. Electricity and magnetic fields are basically one and the same. And I have this meter here, it's called the uh, Go. It's called the Electromagnetic Radiation Detector D1130. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this measures um, milligauss. And, uh, you know, uh, 1000 is 1 milligauss, and 1500 is 1 1.5 milligauss. So they scale it down for you to make it a little more readable. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And you can see baseline in here is zero. As I move it towards the light, and it's not too bad. 300, 400. I'm about two inches away, so that's not too bad. Let's try this. Uh, wow! Just the uh, fitting here. Is beeping out of control. You got 1100. That's not that great. Uh, when this thing starts beeping like this, that's, that's when you really want to be close to that object. So see it back off about three inches, and uh, you're down to zero. Um, you can see all electronic connections are gonna have high reading, a thousand milligauss or one milligauss. So this is your uh, 1200 watt top grow LED, puts off minimal radiation. Here's your 300 watt top grow. And it's putting off about the same 400, 300. And yeah, I forgot to show you, drop it down to about a foot, it goes to zero. That's about six inches over here. Drop it down about a foot, no, it's about six inches. You're at zero. So, I'm not sure how electromagnetic radiation affects plants, but uh, I know it definitely affects humans. Let's see if you've got an alarm clock near your head and you're around 1 milligauss or, or 1.5 milligauss. You can uh, induce, uh, and mess up your uh, sleep, sleeping patterns and uh, so inducing electrical currents in your brain, because of course your brain is electrical. So let me show you a comparison with a um, CFL. Hold on here, I'll black out for a second and bring it to my uh, bedroom. There's a lot of CFLs over there. Okay, we're in my bedroom, right next door, and I got here two 68 watt draw uh, CFLs, and as you can see, I'm getting pretty high readings. I'm about a foot away, and when I get closer, you're looking at a pretty dangerous level of uh, 1500. Get that oh, 1900 even. Wow, yeah, you don't want to be too close to one of those. So you back off, it's halfway decent. So, you really want to be hanging around these CFLs, even this one. You're about a foot away now, and you're still at 200. So, the CFLs definitely give off twice as much radiation as the LEDs. As you can see, you don't want to really mess around with uh, your head near those too long. Even the smaller ones can get off uh, almost two milligauss on the points if you get close enough. See? And back off. Yeah, I'm about a foot away now. Maybe two feet now. Yep, two feet. Still get some radiation, so. You really don't, uh, CFLs on all they're cracked up to be. I wonder if that's why they 
push them out. So on the public, so much you know, yeah, they save energy, but uh, they give off uh, radiation like crazy. And I did do a uh, a reading on a regular incandescent bulb, you know, 60 watt bulb, and it gives off zero electromagnetic field reading because you got a carbon element. Carbon doesn't really produce or it doesn't uh, make electricity flow through very well so you don't get a very high field but with this uh, CFL you get the transformer going from 120 volts to 12 volts DC uh, you know 120 volts AC so you got a really compact com uh, transformer all in one and that's what's giving you the radiation there's nothing protecting it now I will tell you, uh, there is one way to stop the electromagnetic radiation from penetrating to you is uh, actually just simply grounding it. You ground or you have to put some type of screen with a ground wire around the CFL, around whatever is giving out the radiation and the electromagnetic field cannot pass the metal screen that's grounded. It will be attracted to the metal screen and you will have no more radiation going to your head. So if something's giving off a big field, you can always correct it. As you can see, just standing right here, you know, I thought I felt something weird, you know. With somebody tingling the back of your head or you think you're having ghostly experience. Uh, you can be just basically being exposed to a high electromagnetic field of radiation. Uh, inducing currents in your brain. So that's my spiel about CFLs and LEDs and uh, I know HPS transformer would definitely give off uh, probably the highest electromagnetic radiation possible. Uh, the old ballast, maybe the digital ballast might be a little better. But uh, nevertheless, wherever you have, wherever you have electrical flow uh, or electricity that's alive, you will have a small magnetic field, if not bigger. Alright, see you next time.